Last weekend, I invited my friend Dennis for dinner. Dennis is 51 years old, he works more than 65 hours a week, and he has never used AI. Then I showed this to Dennis. Hey ChatGPT, I received an email from a client asking me to quote him my services. I charge $5,000 for a day and $10,000 for a three-day training. Can you help me out drafting a quote? Of course. Here's a friendly and professional quote draft you can use. Subject, training services quote. Hi, I'm Dave and I help busy professionals earn back their life with AI. And then let's dive deep into what she... What chat? And now let's dive deep into what ChatGPT gave me as a result. So I logged on ChatGPT.com and I will have my conversation that I just asked ChatGPT, which is the AI tool from a company called OpenAI. And as you can see in my recent chat history to the left, I have my training quote draft. So since I logged on the same account, on my cell phone and on my computer. I have my conversation right here. As you can see, it's what I just said to chat GPT at the top here with the little microphone. And here I have my quote that was drafted by chat GPT. I'm using the paid version of chat GPT, which allows me to speak to the tool. If you don't use it, you will be only able to type, but you know, you can actually type in. Um, pretty cool. I can then copy and paste and I have a good draft for my quote, right? If you are worried about confidential information, I train a lot of people on Microsoft Copilot, which is a version of ChatGPT, but made by Microsoft. Indeed, it uses the same large language model, the same database behind. Let's say it like that. So they are very similar tool, but I see a lot of businesses Go with Copilot, the business version, because it handles data confidentiality pretty well. Indeed, if you log into copilot.microsoft.com with your work account, you will see at the top right, or it might be at the top left, that you have the enterprise data protection that applies to this chat. So I highly advise that you consult your IT department, IT policy before using any of these tools uh, because ChatGPT, you don't have the data security if you don't have an enterprise model. Long story short, make sure you use Copilot with the enterprise data protection, the shield at the top right. So uh, this example that I showed to Dennis in ChatGPT was pretty cool. We got a quote really quick, but I want to show you another example that I showed to a project manager in a construction company. And this guy, Alexander, he never worked on a computer before because he was working in a construction company for his whole life, but now he just started using computer and it was a pretty steep learning curve. So here we are in Copilot. It's pretty similar to the UI, the user interface that you have seen in ChatGPT, right? And you see here, you have a chat box, a chat box, I should, I should say, that you can actually ask a question. And here I ask the following question. I'm a project manager at a construction company. I need to pick between these two quotes based on pricing, timeline, and other important insights. Can you help me compare these two quotes in a tabular format? And then I went here on the little plus and I attached file from my device. I attach two quotes that are PDFs that are roughly five to 10 pages long. And I will just click send right here. And you will see Copilot analyze the documents and make a comparison so, so, so fast, right? Um, it, it, it keeps going. I want you to be very careful though. AI can and AI will make mistakes. Uh, so you need to make sure that these items that it's giving you is are accurate actually. So make sure to double check. Hopefully you will already know these quotes a little bit, know these uh, potential uh, vendor and you can actually compare. And then it is a conversation. So let's keep going and ask chat or sorry, or ask Copilot, could you draft an email to client number two saying that we will unfortunately not go ahead with this project because of many reasons. Okay, so very generic prompt. I always encourage you to be very specific with your prompt. The more detail you will add, the more uh, better results you will have. So here we go. Here's a professional and respectful draft email you can send to 
the vendor to inform them that you will not be proceeding with their proposal. Dear Mr. X, I hope this message finds you well, blah, 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 blah. So we have a complete message and then we can just go at the bottom here, copy the response and then go to our email and then just paste it in. What's something great with Copilot when you do the paid license is that it integrates the tool, so the AI tool into your favorite apps, just like Excel right now. So let's say I have a data set here. I click on the top right, the Copilot button, and I have my sales. I can just ask Copilot in the chat box down here, can you highlight in green the maintenance sales, column E, above 3000? And then we just click send. And we don't know how to do that in Excel and it's struggling when we go to Google to find how to do these kind of operation. But Copilot is right here and can help us just do that. So in the matter of second, as you can see, Copilot said, hey, I found out in your table, the cell value is greater than 3000. I click on apply and a look at this in the maintenance column, column E, all my sales that were above $3,000 are highlighted in green. So now I'm in Copilot in Teams. I just want to show you, I had a meeting with Grania, which is my employee, and we had Copilot join the meeting to take meeting notes for it. I have a whole video about it that you can probably find somewhere here on the screen, but I want to show you the results. So if I go to recap, Copilot has made an AI summary. As you see here, Copilot has taken meeting notes based on what we said. And if I scroll down, it even gave me follow up task. Again, if you want to see this in action, you can just click on the screen somewhere. And I have made a Copilot Jumpstart Toolkit. So if you're lost with AI, I know I've been there as well. You can download this free toolkit that will get you up to start with Microsoft Copilot telling you the do's and downs and get these free cheat sheets that have been downloaded by more than 3000 people. If you want someone to hold your hand and showing you everything that the tool can do in a step-by-step -step formula, you can also click on the link on the screen somewhere. And I have a course, the Copilot Essential course from AI beginner to proficient that will show you everything you need to do to earn back your time and actually spend time with your family. Let me know what you thought about this video. I'm thinking about helping my mom that is a very busy professional getting more with AI, being more productive. She actually asked me for a private training and I was thinking about filming the whole thing. So let me know in the comments if you want this video and I will catch you soon.